Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you what will happen in Mario Odyssey when you get 999 power moons, and what happens when you get 500 power moons, so let's get into the video. Firstly, you want to head straight over to Odyssey, and we'll just stay here for now. You want to check your moon count, so as you can see, we've got all the moons in Mushroom Kingdom, and all the coins. All the Cap Kingdom coins and moons. All the coins in Cascade Kingdom and all the moons. All the Sand Kingdom coins and moons. All the Water Kingdom coins and moons. All the Lake Kingdom coins and moons. All the Cloud Kingdom moons. All the Lost Kingdom moons and coins. All the Metro Kingdom moons and coins. All the Seaside Kingdom moons and coins. All the Snow Kingdom moons and coins. All the Luncheon Kingdom moons and coins. All the Murin Kingdom moons. All the Bowser's Kingdom moons and coins. All the Moon Kingdom moons and coins. And all the Dark Side moons. And the Darker Side moon. Or three moons, to be more precise. Once you've done that, you've fully completed the game. And overall, you get 880 power moons. But that's not the end. You don't just get 880 power moons. You do get that ending, that secret boss fight fainting, all the way over in the moon kingdom. But the thing is, that's not the only thing. You also get this. Tap over near Peach's Castle. But of course, that hat is only unlocked when you get 999 power moons. But the thing is, there's only 880 story coin moons. Which is a bit confusing, right? Well, that leads to you buying the rest of the moons. I know that might seem quite annoying, going over the rest of the game, earning about 999 coin, uh, 9,999 coins just to get it. But it's definitely worth it. Because in the end, you get something which I'm going to show in a second. And I messed up then, but just ignore that. As you can see, there's a hat on top of here, which is part of what I'm going to show you. Let's go up here. There we go. Jump up there. And as you can see, it starts to glow. And you start flipping that around in it. Whoa! You get Princess Peach, you get some fireworks show, and you get the whole image of the castle, which is really cool. But see, you can get 999 pound wins in the game. You can just sweat on balloon mode as soon as you've finished, and you would only have 124 in story mode. It wouldn't work. So your Odyssey goes gold when you get 880 power moons. But you have to have all the story moons and 999 power moons to get the hat, so it is the final secret part. But, of course, you've got to remember your Odyssey has to be gold and you have to have 999 power moons. And again, also, there's another secret ending, which is kind of really, if you don't want to go that extra mile and get that many power moons, which I understand some people won't want to, you can go to 500 and get this really, really cool final level. But there's still so much to the game. Like, when you finish it, you get Mushroom Kingdom, so much to do there. Then you get the dark side, and then you get the darker side. Then you get the Odyssey that goes gold and the secret painting. There's so much to do in this game, it feels never-ending. And it's such a good thing. As you can see, I've completed the darker side, which was really difficult. And I've, I've actually done everything I can actually do in this game. I'm just trying to get to rank 50 in Balloon World. Currently, I'm at rank 38. But... Yeah, this is my Mario Odyssey account. 999 power moons. We'll try not to die and fall off the edge because that will be really depressing. But there you go. 999 power moons. And as you can see, if we go into the options, data management, load, you can see we've got a Star Next Soir profile because we've done everything in the game we can actually do. Collected all the costumes, all the music and everything so yeah we've done everything we can actually do really enjoyed this game though i can play this game so many times this would be my main one though for getting the whole game like done i'll probably do it again one time but i mean i don't know when 
But yeah, I just it's pretty cool that you get all that you do when you finish the game. I'll go in here. I actually like it, it says when I got like 42, there's 42 like story um there's like 42 story costumes you can get in the game. As you can see, but I've got 55 because I got all the special ones as well. And the special ones start I think it was is the musician because this was all that was in the game before and then these weren't but and yeah these were special ones because they've got that little spark next to it like the little dot so this was what we had before these were all the costumes you could get which in itself is a lot of costumes about 42 and of course the invisibility hat so this was the furthest and you went over here and then you get all the rest I mean, they could have done animation really on that um, 8 bit Mario Cap. It's pretty poor, but. I mean, if you're wondering why I'm, I'm play, how I'm playing at the minute, I can quickly show you actually, because I'm playing on the Switch Lite, but as you can see, I, there is no actual handheld part of it. That's because I'm actually using a Pro Controller and I've connected it for a little USB dock through the bottom, which is pretty cool. So I can play control on a Switch Lite, so I can do these videos a bit better and screen record. And it's just painful in this because you have to transfer it to your Switch and all that. So I just thought, why not do it like this? I can do longer videos without any interruptions. They're easy to do and it just saves time so I can get more videos out there. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you want any Mario Odyssey videos, I can do some. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good day and goodbye.